been a few years since you guys have faced Tom Brady and the Buccaneers, but what did you take from that game, especially the two bad losses? Uh, the, the last time we played them, uh, just, I mean, we had a lot of turnovers uh, in that game. We started a little slow. But all in all, I think we played you know, pretty good defensively, especially in the second half. Um, so uh, some good stuff to take away from it, bad stuff to take away from it. Uh, you know, we got to just uh, play our game, uh, come out fast, and uh, stop the run and get after the passer. What's the key to stopping a quarterback like Tom Brady? Matt says there's nothing he hasn't seen. So how do you stop a guy like him? Uh, the pass rush, um, that's the biggest thing, is just getting, uh, getting pressure on him, um, getting guys around his feet, and uh, just making things uh, hectic for him back there. Uh, don't let him set his feet and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, the front four, uh, front five, whatever you call it, uh, you know, we got to have a, a great game for, for us to be able to have a win on, uh, on Sunday. How important is it for you guys this week to get out to a fast start after the way the last two games started? Yeah, it's huge. Um, I mean, these last couple of weeks, uh, we haven't got off to, to a great start. Uh, so us, us, you know, starting off fast and then being, being able to, to carry that momentum out through the game, uh, it's going to be critical for us. Having this big of a game against a team like the Bucks this early in week three, how have you guys been able to prepare for that? Uh, for say that again. Just having such a big game so early in the season. I, I mean, I mean, at this point, every game is big. We we didn't play two division games in a row. Uh, you know, those games are big, and you got Tom Brady playing playing against the Bucks. Uh, this is a big game. So, um, I mean, whenever you play in the Packers, it's always going to be a big game. Hey, Kenny, you're you're a big guy. You have the whole heat thing. I mean, it's just hey, you're gonna get tired, and so just accept it or. Is there something you concern yourself with? How, how do you approach that? Uh, yeah, you guys just accept it. I mean, it is what it is. You know, guys come down here to the cold, and I, I know they don't like that. And uh, that's their advantage, just having playing out there in that heat. So uh, we got to just, we got to just, uh, you know, be hydrated um, and get off the field. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's the biggest thing. You can't let them have, you know, 10, 10 12 play drives and all that kind of stuff. Um, when we get on third down, and we've been a, a great third down team up to this point. Uh, we got to get off the field and, um, and make those drives short. A couple of weeks ago, you talked about you guys really needed to clean up communication. Do you feel like you guys are at a good place with that now? Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, I think the communication has been a lot better. Um, you know, all the stuff in practice, uh, walkthroughs and everything, and uh, carrying it off into the game. Uh, I think we played really well uh, against the Bears. And, um, you know, now it's just putting everything together um, with the secondary, with the D-line, with everybody just – uh, being able to, to stop the run, stop the pass, um, you know, be great situationally, uh, especially against a quarterback like Tom Brady, and um, we'll be fine.